Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to teach you how to list your Easy Digital Downloads products in an interactive table with filters, search box and lots of other features. There are lots of benefits to displaying your products in a table like this uh, because it puts everything all on one page. You can add buy buttons if you want to, which basically turns it into a one page order form and helps people to buy from you more easily. It makes it really easy for customers to find the videos they want um, and other products, whether it's ebooks and music, whatever you've got, people can very easily select the categories and the tags and even other types of custom data you might want to add, all displayed within the table or filters above the table, and people can find things very, very quickly. So it's a good way to increase your sales. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create a table just like this one. So let's get started. Before you do this tutorial, you need to have a WordPress set up with two plugins installed. Those are Easy Digital Downloads, and that's a free plugin for your e commerce side of things, which you can get from WordPress.org. And you also need Post Table Pro, which is a WordPress plugin by ourselves at Bantu Media, and that's what you're going to use to create your table of Easy Digital Downloads products. So once you've got them installed, create some downloadable products, as you can see I've got on my site, and these are added using the Easy Digital Downloads plugin. And then come back to this video and I will show you how to list these products in a table layout. To do that, you can go to any page on your website. I'm going to go Pages, Add New, and I'm going to call my page EDD Table. I'm just going to select full width, but you can have a sidebar on your page if you want. Next, I'm going to add a shortcode to the page, which is created by the Post Table Pro plugin. To do that, we write open square brackets and then posts underscore table. And then I'm going to add some options to the shortcodes, which tells Post Table Pro exactly what to display and how we want it to, to show. So we're going to tell it to display easy digital downloads products as opposed to other post types or something like that. And we're also going to tell it what columns to display within that table. So the first thing I want to write after post table is space and then post underscore type equals and in quotation marks download. Now download is the post type created by easy digital downloads to store your products. So when you click download all downloads, that is the download post type, and that's what we want to display. Next, we're going to write columns equals, and we're going to list the columns that we want to display. These are just suggested columns that I'm about to add for my example table. You can add other columns, and if you click on the link from the description of this video, which will take you to the full written tutorial um, that comes with it, then I will list all the different columns that are available, because there's quite a lot of options here. So my example columns are image, title, and just put each one with a comma in between but no space. Next I'm going to write CF colon, which tells the plugin that I want to display a custom field next. The custom field I want to display is EDD underscore price, and that is the price field added by the Easy Digital Downloads plugin, and that's how they store it in the database behind the scenes. So CF colon EDD underscore price will add a column to your table with the price. And finally, I'm going to show the excerpt, which is a brief written description, which you might have added for your download. And uh, now let's go to preview the page and see what it looks like. So here we have a easy digital downloads table listing my six products. You can see that we have a price field which shows the correct product price. The excerpt is here in the summary column. We've also got the image and the title and people can click through to the single download page if they want to. You can disable those links if you don't want to use the single download page, that's fine. But you can see some of it isn't that user friendly yet. So, for example, EDD price, um, not really what you want your customers to see. So next I'll show you how to change the column headers. You can do this with any column. What you do is find it within the short code and you write colon and then just type what you want the price to be. So I'm going to write price. That's a bit nicer. And then let's preview it again. 
and you can see that instead of EDD price, it now says price, which is much more user friendly. But at the moment, there's no actual way to buy the downloadable product from the table. And a lot of people like to use Post Table Pro to create a one page order form for easy digital downloads. Now, the plugin doesn't have a built in option for this, but I'm going to show you a really easy workaround that will let you add buy buttons directly within this table. And we'll do this now. So to do it, I have added a free plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. And we're going to go to Advanced Custom Fields now. So just go to Plugins Add New if you haven't got it yet. Search for Advanced Custom Fields and install it on your site. And then you can go to the Custom Fields section of WordPress, which I'm going to now. And I want to create a field group. So let's go Add New and let's call it EDD. Call it whatever you want. This will not appear on your website. Next, we want to add a field within the group. And the field, I'm going to call it EDD price. No, I'm not. I'm going to call it EDD button because that's what I'm doing. And the um, it will automatically create a slug. You need to remember this because we will add it to our post table pro short code in a minute. So write that down somewhere. You don't have to call it EDD button, but whatever you call it, write it down. And it's fine to leave it as a text field. Um, you don't really need to use these other options, uh, but you can if you want. The next thing is post type is equal to, you need to choose download here, because that attaches this custom field option to the downloadable product type. And custom fields are useful for tons of things um, for your easy digital downloads table, because you can use it to store other types of product data. For example, you might want to add um, a unique product code. If you're selling books, it might be an ISBN number, a barcode number, whatever. You can do lots of things and store it as custom fields. And just a quick tip before we move on, if you want to be able to filter by this extra data that you're storing, you can create a custom taxonomy instead of a custom field. Um, there are plugins to create custom taxonomies such as toolset types or custom post type UI. Those are two very good free plugins you can use to create custom taxonomies instead of custom fields. And they're useful if you want to actually be able to filter by this data. But for now, I'm creating a button, as you know. I don't want to filter by the button, that makes no sense. So a custom field is the most appropriate use. So let's publish our custom field. Now I want to go to actually add this custom field um, add a value to it, add a button to it in my download. So we've created the custom field edd underscore button. Now we're going to go to the download section and actually populate that data for each downloadable product. I've already done it for these products but I've left this one blank to show you how to do it. So I'm going to click on the download that I want to add the button for and if I scroll down a bit I can see that there's a custom field here edd button. Now that's what I just added using the custom field uh, section here. And what I want to do is get this purchase shortcode, which is created by Easy Digital Downloads. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to paste it in the EDD button field. So that is a shortcode pro for provided to create a button in Easy Digital Downloads. And now we're going to update the download and we're going to go back to our product table page and refresh it. Um, and that doesn't do anything because I haven't added the column to the table yet. So let's do that next. We're going to add the column now by going to the column section of our short code. I want to write comma and then CF colon because we are displaying a custom field. And I want to write EDD underscore button because that's the name of the custom field I just created. Now let's preview it and the column should appear, but you can see that it's broken. Now there's a very easy way to fix that because what you need to do is add something further to the Post Table Pro shortcode to tell it to render this shortcode within the table and display it properly. You'll also notice that the column is called EDD button which again isn't very user friendly. So let's fix both of these things now. So first I'm going to do another colon after EDD button and let's just call it buy or buy now. Buy now will do. And then 
Go beyond the quotation mark because we're going to add another option to our post table pro short code and we're going to write short codes equals true. Now that activates the short codes option within post table pro so that it will render the content of short codes and not just display the actual sh button short code. And then we're going to go to preview and you can see that it's added a buy button within the table. Now, to show it for the other downloadable products, you need to um, make sure that you add the button to each of them. So I'll do that next. Uh, so we go back to the downloads page. And actually, I'll just do it for one because you don't want to watch me do all of them. So I'm going to add the download purchase link there, put it within EDD button just like I did before, and again, click update. And then let's go back to, where is it, our table and refresh. And you can see that that's added it as well. Now, the reason it says checkout is because I've already got it in my cart from testing a minute ago. So I'm just going to quickly empty my cart and then show you what it should look like. So let's do that now. There we go. So these two have the correct button. This is a free product and it lets me purchase it for free. And this is a $50 product, and that lets me buy it for $50, so that's correct. If I click to purchase it, then it will add it to the carts, and then clicking checkout will take me through to the checkout, as we saw. Now, next I'm going to show you to what happens if I add a button for a variable product, because that's quite interesting, because it lets you choose the options from within the table. So let's do that for a sample digital download. So back to my downloads list, and actually this one is variable. So I'm going to go to this download, and I'm just going to quickly copy the purchase shortcode into the custom field that I created a minute ago. Press save. I'm doing this quickly because it's something I've already shown you. And then we're going to refresh the page again. And there you can see three examples of the different digital downloads and this one has got options attached. Now it was medium by default and the reason it was set to medium was because that is the default. Um, so let's go to show you that there. So the reason it shows a price range in the table is because I've enabled variable pricing. It's a variable product. And you can see here medium has default ticked. So that's why in my table medium was ticked before I started. So whichever you select as the default, it will appear there. So you can choose an option, you can click purchase, and again it adds it to the cart. So three different ways that the button can function. Um, they all work nicely within the table. So the great thing is that people can buy your multiple downloads all from this single page. They can click as many as they want and they remain on the page until they click through to check out where they can buy. If your links are active as they are in my table, you can click through to the single download page to view more information and buy from there, but that is optional and you can disable the links, like I said. You can do everything as a one-page order form here. So let's make it even better. Let's add some filters next. So the filters that are available, you can filter by the download category, download tags, the author, you probably won't want to filter by author, but technically that's possible. So that's the author of your download post, whichever user created it. And finally, you can filter by any custom taxonomy. So if you create custom taxonomies using a plugin such as toolset types or custom post type UI, then you can display them as drop down lists above this table. For now, I'm going to add two filters, which are download category and download tag. I'm going to go back to my page with the table and I'm going to write filters equals within the square bracket and then I'm going to write some quotation marks again and I'm going to add two filters. One is tax colon download underscore category and then I'm going to do a comma followed by tax colon download tag. Now that is the correct syntax for how Easy Digital Download stores the data about download categories, which are here, and download tags, and they're both filterable. So let's go to preview our page again and see the filters in action. So here we have the download categories, and we also have download tags. So you can see that the table instantly filters before your eyes as you select those different options, and you can click click reset to get the options back again. 
Um, the final thing I'm going to show you um, is it's starting to look a bit messy up here, I would say, and I don't have that many products. So let's hide the show 25 entries and just clean it up a bit. You can do lots of things. You can hide the search box, move it to the bottom, hide that, hide that. It, there's lots of stuff you can do. And if you have loads of downloads, then you can also have pagination buttons, which let you divide your table onto multiple pages. So there's lots of different things you can do regarding the extras above and below the table. And so let's just add to our shortcode page underscore length equals false within quotation marks. And I'll quickly look at that. And you can see that I've removed that. So it looks a bit more neat looking now. And that's it. That's everything you need to do in order to display your easy digital download products within a product table layout. So to get started, you need to um, get use easy digital download with the Post Table Pro plugin and um, follow the written tutorial that comes with this video or follow or just do it alongside me in the video and your table will be set up in no time. Thanks for watching.